Question 2. The scatter graph shows information about 10 apartments in a city. The graph shows the distance from the city centre and the monthly rent of each apartment. And this is a two-page question, so we're going to be moving around quite a bit in this video. So if we look at this graph, the distance from the city centre is represented on the x-axis and the monthly rent is shown on the y-axis. The table shows the distance from the city centre and the monthly rent for two other apartments. So for one mark, question A, it says, on the scatter graph, plot the information from the table. So the first part of the table says if the distance is 2 kilometers, so let's find 2 kilometers, which is here, we want to go up to a monthly rent of 250 pounds, which is exactly halfway between 200 and 300. And then we put a small cross, being as accurate as you possibly can. You're usually allowed to be within a square or two either side, but be as close to that point as you can. Our second point is 3.1. Now each of our, we've got 10 lines here, so each of the lines represents 0.1 of a kilometre. So 3.1 is the next line after 3. The monthly rent is £190, which is one line below 200. Because if there are 10 lines, each line represents £10. Once again, a small cross at those coordinates will give us that full mark. If you miss one of those points or you're not accurate enough, you could risk losing that one mark, so be careful. Part B. Describe the relationship between the distance from the city centre and the monthly rent. If we're asked to describe a relationship, we're giving a wordy description of what's actually happening. So if we look at the distance from the city centre, the further away we get, so the bigger this distance becomes, the lower the rent is. So the further we go, the smaller the rent becomes. And that is the relationship between the distance and the rent. So in words you just have to make sure that you described that as best you can. It can be quite simply uh, writing down so further away rent gets cheaper really bad English, but it describes the relationship in a very concise way. Part C. An apartment is 2.8 kilometers from the city center. Find an estimate for the monthly rent for this apartment. This is a two mark question, so we're going to have to show some form of working out. 2.8 kilometers from the city center. Let's go back to our graph. Now, on any scatter graph, it's always a good idea if you draw a line of best fit. This doesn't have to be completely accurate as long as it roughly goes through as many of the points as possible so that you can use it to predict missing values. Now, we wanted to find an estimate for 2.8 kilometers. So if we draw a line up from 2.8 kilometers, to our line of best fit, we can now use our line of best fit to make a guess. Now this would be our calculation marks, showing the line of best fit and how we've used it. Now roughly this line lands here, which would be about £240. We don't have to show any other working out, because everything on the graph would count for our method mark and that would be a reasonable estimate. Examiners will look for a value which is approximate to this because they understand that lines of best fit are not always the same.